Hello family, hope you guys are well. It's day 31 today. This is the last day of our 31 days of wisdom series. Oh, what a month it has been. We have learned a lot. We have gotten wiser. Uh, and I think for me, one of my main takeaways is that uh, we need each other that iron sharpens iron uh, from all the guys who have taken time out to come and encourage us uh, during this wisdom series uh, guys have come with different revelations with different perspectives you realize that's why we the body we need to strengthen the body we are one body and we need each other that in order for us to advance the kingdom we need to be united embracing each other so that we can learn from each other so that we can help each other that we shouldn't be separate and be small little islands that we can we will achieve little if we are separate little islands but if we are together and we are moving together in unity because we have all been born of one spirit so that is my takeaway and a big shout out to all the uh, guys who made time out to come and encourage us. We really do appreciate you guys. Uh, I guess that's why dietitians will tell us to vary our diets. If today you decide that, oh, I'm going to live off potatoes, that is if you can even afford the potatoes, <laughs> you will miss out on other vitamins and minerals. That's why we need a varied diet. Even the Bible tells us that we preach in part, we prophesy in parts. So you are missing out on other parts if you are only consuming one part. Yeah. Uh, since today is the last day, I'm going to break the rules a little bit. And we are going to look at, the, at Solomon, who is the wisest man to ever live. Uh, and we'll read from 1 Kings 3. We'll study from... 1 Kings 3 was started from 7. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David, but I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. So Solomon starts uh, by being aware of who he is and where he is, that he is lacking uh, wisdom. Verse 8, your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. He's recognizing the mammoth task that stands before him, leading God's people. That I cannot lead your people on my own wisdom, on my own strength, that he's not being independent from God, but he is depending on God to guide him and to lead him on this uh, new adventure. Verse 9, so give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong, for who is able to govern this great people of yours? So he comes and asks God for wisdom to be able to distinguish between right and wrong because he recognizes as a leader, uh, I am going to be making decisions on a daily basis and I need to make the right decisions for the people to move the people forward. I think that is the mark of a true leader, that his heart is for the people, that he wants the people to do well and he wants to do well by the people. He wants to lead the people well. Verse 10, the Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. So God said to him, since you have asked for this and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have asked and I will give you a wise discerning heart so that there will never be anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, for that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in the obedience to me and keep my decrees and commandments as David your father did, I will give you a long life. So because you have asked of this, David, 
I will give you long life, I will give you wealth, I will give you honor. You could have easily asked for these things, but you recognize that wisdom is the master key to all of these things. Because what is the point of wealth if you cannot manage that wealth? Because some of us, we even have bodies, we, do not, we are not even good stewards over our own bodies, that we put in things into our bodies that we should not be putting in. That is wisdom. We are not making the right choices for us to even live a long life. So wisdom is the master key to life that enables us to make the right decisions that affect our finances, that affect our health, that affect our, uh, our managing, our leading uh, in our careers, in our businesses, in our ministries. We need wisdom. Uh, James 1, 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So if you are like Solomon and are aware that you lack wisdom, this is an invitation that God is making this invitation that come and ask and I will give you generously without finding any fault. So this is an invitation that we come to the Lord and ask him to give us wisdom just as Solomon did. That all, Solomon did not ask for wealth, for long life or for his enemies to be destroyed, but he asked for wisdom. So let us seek wisdom. Let wisdom be the primary thing that we hunger for and we seek for. Hope you guys are encouraged today. And uh, a big shout out to all those who have been sending us messages on WhatsApp, uh, who have been just saying that this series has really uh, changed them and encouraged them. So we really appreciate the feedback. That is the Those are the things that actually keep us moving forward. So if this platform is a blessing to you please let us know so that we are encouraged uh, as well and another way that you can also encourage us is by liking sharing and subscribing and sharing uh, this platform with your family and friends hope you guys have an amazing day today and look out for the next series that will be launching on the first of june peace